Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video and we start here at early today just because there is a train coming in with the locomotive on backwards thanks to that uh, flip aroundy mod whatever it's called which is a really useful mod when I set it up properly which in this case I have not quite done that uh, just just yet for this particular train or this particular line but that does not matter due to what we are going to be doing today and before I continue with that a quick reminder of the last episode we created an abandoned railway line of some sorts or we use the abandoned railway line and the abandoned station to create a brand new branch line going from where was this? Berwick upon Tweed to Attleborough. So that was from the west of the map to the east of the map. Two towns that are connected, but not connected to each other, at least not directly. Of course, if you went from Attleborough to. Oh, where do we go? We'll come around from Attleborough to Barnstable. And then from Barnstable, if you catch the train that would go through. Um, West Brom and then Ely and then nearly catch perhaps this train or indeed the green uh, the green train over there that would take you all the way back to Bracknell so we have managed to sort of reduce the journey time there as you would expect for a branch line now I did ask people to put some comments as to how you would like me to detail that and thank you to those who have I have read the comments, um, I think there was one comment, one clear comment on there that had something to do with uh, the branch line and saying, uh, loving the concept of the branch line, so um, a firehead, 90531, not to be mistaken by 90530 or any of the other ones below, and certainly not a firehead 10,000, but loves the concept of the abandoned branch line line, which is pretty good. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little bit too close. Move away, move away. You didn't see that. Um, and then talks about making things more detailed and realistic, perhaps adding some buildings and uh, rusty trucks. Now, I'm not sure about the trucks yet. Now, perhaps in the future, when trucks are around, we could do that. Um, but adding signal boxes, water towers, and coaling depots. Now, the coaling depot is an excellent excellent idea and I have a whole plan on that after I read that comment I thought I know exactly what to do with the coaling depot but it is going to take a little bit of work however I think I need to put that work in with regards to signal boxes and water towers I need to learn a little bit more about those so that I know exactly how I want to do those otherwise I will probably make them look not so realistic but in this video, I'm not going to be doing any of that. As this is this station's really busy at the moment. What I am going to be doing is every train that you have seen just now on the screen is about to be replaced. There is actually I think there's another train coming in. I'm sure I saw it in the distance. Oh, it's waiting, it's waiting for a platform. Um, but every train that you have seen on screen is going to be replaced and in fact every train is going to be replaced full stop across the entire entire map maybe not all the freight trains but certainly all the rest of them and the reason for that is because i want to reduce the number of mods that i have on this playthrough so i'm going to well that one's going backwards so as soon as i manage to reduce those mods the loading should be faster and i can add different mods on as time goes on so all of these trains are going to be changed for generic locomotives. Now, you may think generic lo locomotives doesn't sound very good. They're made by Grimm, and I assure you, they are absolutely excellent. So make sure you stay tuned to see an entire new fleet, or nearly an entire new fleet of trains across the entire network. Okay, now there are a couple of ways I could attempt this. So here's another train that is going to be replaced as well. Although this one may already be a generic train, so I may not need to replace this one. 
It is a generic train, however, actually, there is a reason I am going to replace it. It's because there is a new version of the mods, the V2 versions. And the V2 versions of the mods, uh, I, need to, I need to really take a picture here. Just notice we've got all sorts of engines sitting over here. Uh, how will I take a picture? Perhaps something along these lines. Actually, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good place for a screenshot. Come on, there we go. Oh, what's happened there? So, yes, I'm going to replace every single one with a different kind of engine. So let us start with, or let's just pull up the lines. And we'll go through them one at a time. So, we have Berwick Goods. Berwick Goods Transfer. Here is the first train we are going to replace. Now, I very much do like this train. So what I'm going to do is that for future note, I'm going to actually write down what this particular train is. So that way, if ever in the future I want to bring up a, a branch line or something, or sorry, a branch line, a historic line, I should be able to do so with um, with these with these locomotives. So this one is a GWR. So I'm going to type all these down. Um, 060, or as probably should be pronounced better, 060, ST, uh, 19, 1854, I was going to say, in 1954, 1854, there we go, that should tell me what that one is, and the rest of these are just uh, Great Western Railway vans, so let's go ahead and change these, currently, this is able to carry uh, a grand total of 252. Now, it does not seem to be carrying that much. This is, this is the one... Oh, yes, it, it takes quite a bit back, though, doesn't it? We can see it's taking 31 back. So it's not a huge amount, but perhaps more in time. Um, but I think I should make this this locomotive, this train, somewhat smaller. So that is what I'm going to be doing here. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just go ahead and pause that as I as I grab this manage vehicles, and let's go ahead and do a replacement. And I think it's a it's a good time to do the replacements now. You can see here we've got the generic steam engines. UK steam engine. So this is the old version. So you'll see there's a Columbia one somewhere in here that I am using for the for the loop line. But these are the new versions. One, two, three. This is all part of one pack as far as I am concerned. Uh, so this, see these early ones will disappear because they get covered under this I believe. This one disappears, and then all of these mods that I have can also disappear. So London Northwestern Railway, London Brighton South Coast Railway. I may leave the Great Western Railway ones. It depends, but a number of these, all of these mods can disappear. And that is really, really going to help. I may even get rid of the Midland Railway mod, um, just because I, I highly doubt I'm ever going to use it. So let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, our current train was the GWR 060. So if I go GWR 060, so it was one of these saddle tanks. Um, no, it's 1854. So it was that one. It was the 060 saddle tank. Top speed of 40 miles per hour, attractive efforts of 16 and a half pound feet. So that is what we have to deal with. Now, if I look at the generic ones, we could go for, uh, we, we could go, ver we could very well go for an era three, uh, but there's no real saddle tank engines here, so I want something quite similar. And there's a similar one with less tractive effort, but fairly similar. I would rather have one that had, this is an 040, if we can find an 060, there we go. Uh, side tank engine. That is. Pro oh, we've got saddle tanks as well. There are 40s. 
Okay, so we could probably switch to an 060 side tank engine. I think that could be our option. Um, interestingly enough, now we've got options A, B, and C. Uh, one of them will have a, a red line, the other one is just red, and the other's blue, and the, the colors are, I can always adjust the colors after that. So if I want the red line on this with a green engine, I should probably pick this one. Uh, but let me have a look if there's any other. Now, I think this is our best option. So there we go, 1876. Is there anything perhaps a little slower? No, the, these are all pretty. In fact, I like the idea of that. High attractive efforts. We're not moving too far. I think I might do this. Um, zero four zeros or zero four twos or oh four twos. Now that is our option. So we've got the a well tank, a side tank, or a saddle tank. I think we go for. You know what? Zero six zero to or oh six zero to an oh four two. That sounds good to me. And we shall make them uh, some shade of green. It's not perhaps the right shade of green. That shade of green, that's more like apple green now. There is a shade of green I'm after, and this is not it. Nor is that it. Nor is that it. That's more modern. That's a little dark. That isn't quite the colour either. That is certainly not the colour. Okay. Unfortunately, it looks like the colour I want is not going to be available, so we're going to have to try this colour. So let's go ahead and add one of them. And then we're going to have to do... Ah, uh, how do we get the backwards trains? Never remember. Is this in multiple units for it? Uh Oh. This is interesting. I may not be able to get a backwards train. Well... That's going to be annoying. That is going to be a little annoying. Right, I shall deal with this issue as the time, when the time comes. We'll start with just two of these. And currently we are able to haul it, what was it, 250, there it is, 252. Um, with 42 of the, I think it's one of these, it's this one. Now, are we using the, I think we may be using this one, iron bodied one, which can carry a fair amount of stuff, whereas this seems to be able to, this is carrying far, far less. Um, this seems to only be the standard cargo, which is annoying. So we are going to have to do this one. Alternatively, we do have an option of taking... No, let's not do that. We shall go for this one. Here we go. So we're going to take... How many of these do we want? Now, previously, we had enough to carry two... 152. Let's go for 150. There we go. Much shorter train, but that is our brand new. That's our brand new train. Oh, no, these are already. Ah, see, look at that. Well, tank shunter, late B. That is going to have to change. What I might do though is leave the rest of this exactly as it is. I don't want to take a picture here because that is surprisingly a fairly decent, fairly decent set of trains. Or I say decent set of trains. It's it's two trains. But um, there we go. So that's the first one changed. Let's go for the second one. So I'm just going to do this in order. And some of them, I mean, I may only change the locomotive. So, for example, that one does need to change. So we have 
two vehicles on this line. Let's go, let's go see this train. There it is. So it is currently using a, what's this, a 062 tender engine. Is that what this one is? It's an 060. Sorry, 042. No, it's an 060. That's interesting. Oh, I guess, yes, because they're all driving wheels. I can just see the, I don't know what you call this, that there rod. I guess it would be a rod, wouldn't it? Drive rod, maybe? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just suggesting what it, what it may, may actually be. So there we go. So I'm going to change this train, these two trains out. So let's have a, a quick look at these. Again, I think this one I'm probably not going to bring back as a historic line, but I'm going to write it down anyway. So this is a London Northwestern Railway uh, DX goods. It's an O. 60 and it's the cab one great there we go uh, da -da -da -da. right let's just type that in Um, so let's get rid of those. There we go. And let's bring in a couple of others. Uh, da, da, da. So back to the generic ones. And we want these. Now, these ones have a, a top speed of 500, well, top speed of, I have no, 40 miles per hour. We're going to have more than that anyway, with a 544. So. We probably want something that's a little bit, yeah, these, these could probably do the trick. A side tank engine, that, yeah. Amazingly, I do not have tender engines yet from this era. Yes, these tank engines are very much going to, going to work for me. So we want a grey one, so I'll probably, let's go for the blue one there, paint it in a greyish colour. There we go. So that now has one. With, yep, that should be good enough. And uh, this one, have I selected that? That now has one too. There we go. I think that modification should work quite nicely. Let me just watch this train for a moment. Just make sure that it is able to pick up uh, as it as it goes, because that would be a disaster. Um, right. That seems to be picking up reasonably well. I'd say that's reasonable and I, I have to say this the modeling on this is excellent it truly is excellent goody so that's one done oh two more done Let, let's have a look at this this one how are you coping with so it's obviously these are limiting the speed but that's okay for now and also we have the numbers on these now uh, the the grey works better. I should have done. I should have done the red one. I'm fairly sure. In fact, I need to go check this now. I'm fairly sure that when no 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 this one when I did the green, this should have a. Oh, this doesn't have any markings. Never mind then. Oh well, I'll get back to that at some point. Let's go have a look at what the next trains are. So the next one is going to be this one. This one is going to be easy peasy anyway. 
I'm not even going to attempt, I'm not even going to explain the, what I want to do with this. Uh, don't know if you heard that horn outside. Um, this is going to be the exact same, exact same things going to go on. So get rid of that, add that, job done. There we go. And I'll go take a look at it. Now, eventually, I'll start figuring out the whole push-pull configurations of these. But, yep, that will do. In fact, no, hold on. I am curious about something. I want to see that colour change. Does it work? Uh, where are you? Which one did I select? I had... That one selected. So what happens if I select this one? For the same colour. What are you talking about? I was just attempting to do that for you. Get rid of that. Add that in. There you go. Oh look, this one has no... This one has no markings. Okay, the black ones have no markings. The blue ones have a black marking, so what do the red ones have? Right, it's more interesting things to, to look at. But next up, we have to go change Braxnell food. Oh dear, this one is quite an old one. So we'll go ahead and give this a, a proper change. In fact, I'm not even sure about these vans anymore and using them so I may go ahead and just do a total replacement of this one now again this doesn't need a really powerful engine so we could use an older engine on this perhaps a 1973 engine or something something along th ah, there we go a 76 engine we'll, we'll use um we'll use a side tank engine for this uh, the color has to be orange it's not really orange is it? it's more like a that's not that color it's that color so we'll i didn't want to modify it i wanted to replace it that's what i want to do let's try this again uh, where is it was it this one 1970 what was it, 73 or 76? I think I went for a 76, didn't I? Yes, I think it was this one here. So do that in... in that colour. There we go. With the cargo, uh, we shall go for... a few of these. Three. Let's go for some. Oh, we don't want private owner. Let's go for these. Oh wait. Color. Remove the color. Uh. Oh, I could, I could go for this. Just do this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. That, 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 and just for the sake of it, add a bit of colour at the end of that. Uh, can carry eighty. How much could this carry? Standard is eighty-eight, so we shall stick a five plank one at the end of. Okay, well, apparently I'm going to do that. That was not what I meant to do. But we now have a new train. Look at that chuffing along yep it was supposed to have an extra eight but that's okay we'll we'll it doesn't ever reach 88 so it doesn't matter uh we gotta go back uh right con fourth food we've got the kits and class ones so these kits and class ones are all going to change uh that one was a uh, i forgot what that was i didn't even check that was stupid of me um whoops
Right, let's go ahead and so this one is the Kitson 060 PT Class A5. Kitson 0060 PT Class A5. Right. Um, Okay, let's look for a replacement for this, or both of these, so we need to select that, manage vehicles, grab both, and yeah, let, let's do a full replacement here, so we'll, we'll have to look for an engine, um, right, we want for this era 2 again I guess I think so we'll look for so these are 06 so, so if we could just find, I don't, I don't think we need, well I guess, I guess this would just do, but it's a little bit overkill. Perhaps we could drop them down to these. What do the Kitsons have actually? Maybe it would be a good idea to look. 14.9. Do you know what, I think that means that, look at that, 14.6. It's close enough. It is close enough, so I think we should do that. We should probably take this. I'm going to check what the red one has here. And we'll go for... Now this creamy colour doesn't really work on the Kitson class. But let's see whether it works on this particular train. And then with that we have 12 other things. Uh, what exactly are they? Are they just standard? There's something. I wish it would tell me. It doesn't tell me anymore. Generic British goods wagon five plank. Oh, I'm going to need to pause this one because of the whole push pull thing again. So let's try that again. Will it know what it was that I had last selected? Hope so. No, it wasn't that. I think it was this. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and just quickly put the cargo on before anything happens. It's just a generic. So it's just these, and we had 12 of them, so I guess I could just put, put 12 back. Uh, how many did I just put there? 3, 6, 9, 12. There we go. Job done. Let's have a, let's have a look at these new locos. How, how do they handle the looks? Ooh, a little yellow. Just a little yellow there. Get that. Mm. That's a bit concerning. But it, it's fine, it's fine. Look, this one this one is a bit orange. But every everything's just coming together really nicely, and because they're using the same meshes, it does mean that we're not going not going to have too many issues. So but we're getting there. It is going to take a little bit of time, but we're certainly getting there. Here comes the next one. These ones. Right, these are double-headed trains with a lot of that. So, how many of these are there? Two of them. So we'll go ahead and change both the trains. Again, we'll go for a replacement on this. And the current option is a D2 class. It's that. I think it's that. But it could be any of these. So, not very powerful. 50 mile per hour top speed. Okay. I think we can. I think we can manage this. We could go for a. 
We could go straight out for tank engines. Just tank engines everywhere. Somebody tell me why that's a bad idea, please. Yes, somebody let me know why... Why would it be a bad idea to put tank engines everywhere? Because I am curious. Um, and these ones... Oh, wait, they can just be black. There we go. Let's just do that. And do I want one or two? I think two. We'll, we'll double head them. Or could I use a tender engine from the towards the end of this? There's just loads of tank engines here. Yeah, I, I think for freight operations we're going to really be using tank engines a lot more. And in terms of cargo, we're just using a generic... This one. And... This, that should do. There we go. Perfect. Let's have a look at this train for a moment. The whistle boards work. Yep, I think that that will that will do nicely for me. Okay. Next train, so how far have we got? We've got to Croydon Goods. We've got some ways to go, but not not a huge amount. I'm starting to I'm starting to get uh, into it and starting to realise what we have and what I'm changing. So let's go ahead and go to this and what is this one? What this one is is lots of lag. This is already a generic train, isn't it? Right, since there's only one of them, I'm actually just going to do a straight replacement. So it's a 062 side tank engine. And I'm just gonna, going to go straight away and replace that. So it will be a 062 side tank engine. That one? I did not mean to do that. I think it's that one. Edit. 062. When, when was this one? It doesn't tell me really. Not a tender. 0062. 062. That's a 042. That's a 060. Or 060. 040. 042. 042. 062. Here we go. It's these. There we go. Next to no difference. Oh, this does have the gold. Look at the red one. The red one has gold on it. That looks excellent. That looks absolutely excellent. Okay. Uh, next up. So, we are. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines so far. And we have more than seven lines to go. Uh, although, that's fine. What do we have here? Ah, this is the one I am going to... This one's going to be missed, I think. Because these are excellent. In fact... Do you know what? I'm not going to change those. I, I'm not going to change this particular line. It's just the noise of it and everything is just perfect. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Now this I'll change. Yes, th this one, this one I shall change. So we've got uh, London Brighton. So let me note that one down. Let's see. So it's a London Brighton South Coast Railway uh, D1 042 Tender. Cool. Okay, and let's... how many of these are there? There's quite a few, so... Manage vehicles, and we're going for a full-on replacement. So, let's have a look at the D1s again. It's an 042 tender, probably similar to one of these. Yep, so it's got 13,500 pound-feet of torque, 476 horsepower, and a top speed of 45 miles per hour. I think we can beat that any day of the week with the brand new tank engines. 
Yes, these tank engines are very much going to take over a number of these rolls. That colour, I think, is the right colour. So let's go ahead and do that. So we could... Um, we'll put two of them. And then cargo-wise, this has... Is it the bolsters? 18 of the bolster wagons. I think it is. Um, might as well a telegraphic. Telegra yeah, okay. Let's just go for these. What's the capacity of this? What was the capacity of one of these trains? 144. Oh, wait, too many. There we go. Oh, they're a bit... They're a bit orange. Were they really meant to be that orange? I don't think so. I didn't mean for them to be that orange. That's... That's... I'm so sorry, I feel like I'm infringing on copyright here. Uh, I'm going to change the colours of those. Because I cannot have that colour. I, I'm infringing on the copyright of... Oh, what was it that I was using? What, what am I using right now? Pannier tank engine. This is a... Yeah, let's just leave it as a Pannier tank engine, but... Lighten up that colour. That was... That wasn't... That was a lot more orange than I thought it was going to be. So let me attempt it. Let me attempt that. Oh wait, uh, two of these, please. There we go. Okay, now they're just brown. Do you know what? It will do. It will do. This is excellent. Everything is everything's coming together quite nicely. Uh, right, next one, Ollerton Bricks. Yes, you need a little bit of work done to you. Uh, right, that part of you is fine. So it's just the just front, which is going to be the DX Special. Okay, London North Western Railway DX Special. Let's go ahead and get that done. London North Western Railway. North Western Railway. DX Special 060. Uh, what should I replace that with? Let's find out, shall we? I could, I suppose, replace the entire lots. What are these? No, I just want to know what they are. Do you know what? I, it doesn't matter. I'll just replace them. 80 capacity. We just need something that beats 80. Uh, the DX Special is this one here. 52 miles per hour. 50, nearly 16,000 pound feet. 680 horsepower. Easily beaten. Easily beaten with what we currently have. So we'll just go for a standard side tank engine. Look at that. Done. And uh, we could go for just the red like that. Stick with that red. Then go for cargo. And I think we would want to... So it's bricks. So that's going to be some sort of cargo. One of these. This isn't going to be... I don't think they, they stack up too tall, do they? Cannot even see it. I'm going to, I'll just go for five blank regardless. Um, and we'll do... Well, whoops. That's a... Oh, I need to do that. I do need to do that. Uh, five plank. 
84. Yeah, that will do. I, ne I need to have engines just running around. That would be excellent. You go back. There's nothing for you to do. Um, that would be absolutely excellent to have. Just just locomotives pottering around on their own. Every now and then I could I could always program it in. I got something. Okay. Next one. Uh, Shepton Island. Ah, yes, this one is just going to be a bog standard replacement. So we're replacing whatever these are. 040 well tank shunter, late B. So that is going to be replaced by. So goodbye and goodbye and replace with a era two O four O well tank engine, I guess. It's not one of these, is it? Yeah, it just says well tank engine, so it's changed to engine. That's fine. Well tank engine what's it currently a B. Yeah, late B. So we'll take that one in what colour? I think it's that colour. Uh, I would like to move this one to the front, please. There we go. Slight change. This is an 042. Do we have 040s? We do. Why did I not do that? Here, this this is what I should have done. I'm going to do that. There we go. Now we're back to what it should be. Oh no, we need to get away from here. How many is this carrying? 53. Great. Uh, still not a lot, but there we go. Okay, so all of those have been done. We're now into the final bit, uh, which we've got the Aspera. Right, this one is still running the... It's still running these. I'm kind of going to, as I said, I'm going to keep those. This one... These ones are running the generic engines. No, they're not. That's going to change. Okay. Do I care much about keeping that engine as a... I'm going to write it down anyway. Because you never know when you might want one of these engines. So that is a... London Brighton South Coast Railway. A one class... 060... Ten a T may not be tender then. Because there's no tender on this. T. Tank. T for tank. That's what it is. And then we've got generic British... Now this is where it's going to get interesting. Because... I need to... Uh, which line are these? This one, isn't it? I need to get rid of some of these mods as well. So... First thing we need to do is change it to. Um, I suppose it's a side tank engine. Yes. Doesn't matter how fast it can go. Uh, we'll we'll do that. It's in this colour, so we'll do that to it. And then the problem here is, see, we've got all of these, and I'm not sure which one of these. I think, I think it's this, generic UK passenger coaches 1880, I think that is what it should be as opposed to these now, so one, two, three should now disappear, replaced by these generic ones, I think, I'm not entirely sure, so what do we have here, a four wheel late, a front brake, Two third class and a rear brake. So we'll go for a front brake. Third class, there we go. 
we'll take one of them. Um, we will then take that, two of them, and third pass brake at the rear. There we go. That should do. 32 capacity, currently has 32 capacity, nothing's changed. Train size looks different. Is that a bigger train? Did I do that? Have I made a mistake there? Hang on a minute. I thought... Wrong size. That's the one I wanted. 6, 12, 18... I'll only hold 24 though. If we want to do it, we have to take this size. Rubbish. Oh well, just going to have to make do. These ones, ah, these ones may not be right either. Or they may be, I think they may be right. It's all very confusing. I think those ones are right. Okay, moving on. So we've done that one, we've done that one. What are you? I want to kind of keep these ones as well. It's just the noises these make. Um, I guess it's probably better if I do go ahead and replace all of these. So we've got three carriages on this. And we've got a generic, so it's first class and two third classes. And then we've got a PT Well Tank LSWR. Two four O W T B T Well Tank Campus. Okay. So replacing these. We are going to... Oh, how, how fast can these go? WT. WT. There it is. 45 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour, actually. The, the later ones. So, the top speed of 60. So, we are looking for something that could perhaps reach that sort of speed. Just that noise. We're going to miss that noise. And these are O two four O's. Two four O's. I think I've got something similar. Right? That's an O four two, so it isn't quite the right right direction. But two four twos. Could do that. Hmm. Could do that. Two four twos. We've gone from well tanks to side tanks. These are going to be red as well. And see, at this point, we could just use the generic red. Then we need grey... Right, so it's going to be these ones. And we are going to need a grey... That one says... That has a bogey. These do not have bogeys. Ah! Now I'm confused as to which one is the right one to use. Perhaps? Okay. Slight concern. Slight concern, slight confusion. We're going to have to figure this out now. Maybe this is... Correct. Not this one. Oh, if anybody knows, if, if you could tell me that would be great. For now, I'm just going to stick with this. I'm going to do one first class. Oh, uh, right. Wait, 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 wait. Great. One first class. Two third class. It's capacity of 24. What's the actual capacity of these? 54. Yes, we have a problem. One first class. 
Um, one, two, three. No, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Third class brake. Front. First class. Third class. Um, brake lug luggage van. Third class rear. Let's see what that does. How long are these trains currently? 62 yards. 94 yards. 82 yards. Um, sure, do it. They look excellent though. They, they, that does look excellent. Very nice. Okay. Major changes going on. Major, major changes. Uh, where are we? Is that the one that we just... No, that, that is the one we just did. We've got one, two, three, four, five to go. These ones should be quite simple because... Uh, let, let's do these first. Uh, manage vehicles. I'm actually going to pick up both of these. And... If I can... Because it's all the same. So if I can just do... So it's a 242 Columbia tank engine. Followed by a third, a first. Third, two thirds and a third. Okay. I think I can do this. And if I just replace all of them very quickly, that will be essentially two for the price of one. So... Thank you, autosave. Let's see. What was it? A 242, right? So it's these ones. Pretty much this. We could actually use that standard colour, lighten it up just a bit to that, wait for the autosave to complete. There we go. That followed by. Uh, let's see. I should pause this just in case we have the swap around. I think it's this one. So perhaps this is what we were using. I think, I think it is this. And we were going for these colours. So third class break at the front, followed by first class, followed by two third classes. And you know what, let's just put it by a, a brake and luggage. So each one of these is actually can carry 40 and it can still carry 40. Let's go check this one out. Yep, pretty much the exact same train. There we go. Nothing change, nothing changes at all. Excellent. So that's all of them. So the only ones that are left is one, two, three, and four. So let's just continue in our... Oh, sorry, no. One, two, three. We've done up to that. There. One, two, three. This one is probably going to be a big one. So let's... Let me take this. This is a... Ah, look. These are bogey trains. I'm going to have to figure something out here. Um, maybe I can still use the bogeys. London Brighton South Coast Railway G Class. No idea what that is, but it's a 222, two, two, so it's a triple two. Okay. So for you, we're going to manage all of you, and you are currently. As I said, we're going to go for a replacement. We'll probably have to pause it again because of the shunter mod. Shunter mod, that's what it's called. It was that. Uh, this one. So, 60. With that, we are going for tender engines this time. Um, so, yeah, we have to go for a tender engine. We shall find a replacement tender. Nothing available here. But we do have tender engines available here. What's this one? Two, two, two. 
zero four zero. No, how about zero six zero tender engines? That sounds pretty good. We've also got these four two two tender engines. These look very powerful. And we'll go for the black ones because I think these trains are actually black. So, or the, the locomotives anyway. Then the passenger wagons, I think we have to go for these. And they are in a near white color, just off the white. And we would like to have, what do we have here? Ducket's front brake. So we'll take one of them. Wait, what? What's the difference between that and that? Oh, this is going to be horrible. It was an A. We have two ducket front brakes. That doesn't make any sense. Why have I done that? We then want a... We'll, we'll mess around with this a little. First class. Yes, a first class would do very nicely. We shall then have two third classes. Let's have three third classes. It's just a generic, another first, yeah. Three first, we'll do that. And then a rear brake slash luggage. Right there. Okay. So this currency has 108, that has 108. Replace all of them. And there are our new engines. Excellent. Excellent. That sounded a bit like, a, a bit like, oh, who's the guy from The Simpsons? Mr. Burns. Excellent. Um, right. We have... I'm not going to change the Metro ones, I don't think. Oh, no, wait. I uh, probably should change those. But what else we'll do is we shall leave the backs of these ones the same, but yes, we'll, we'll change the locomotives. So, manage vehicles. Let's go ahead and just edit the locomotives here. So, that is a GWR Metro. I do like the... I, I like the sound they make. So, 48 miles per hour, yeah, easy. Easy peasy. We'll take, we'll take a, which one should we take? So it's a 240 tank. That's what the T is, not tender. 240, I, I have seen 240s, right? It's 242s. We could replace it with a 242, I guess. Let's replace it with a 242. And... We shall make it, not the green I'm after still, I'll attempt it, I'll put this, this kind of green on, this isn't the green I was after, but you know what, it's a decent enough green, this is a decent enough green, it shall do, and thus we get to the last one, so let me just write that down again, GWR Metro. Come on, fingerprint reader. Metro. There we go. And then the last one we have, we've already got these trains written down, but this does need to change. This, in fact, the entire lot needs to change here. So we are going to, yep, we are going to make massive changes here. You are... The DX special, you are going to change to what is it? It's a 060. Let us change you to 042. 060, 042. I think it, it'll, it will do. Um, we'll do a red one that we're going to obviously paint into a deeper green. Maybe we should now start doing these colours. Perhaps because we're getting into that period of time. So we want to start 
matching up certain colors let's do that and then this is all going to change so generic british oh no maybe it isn't going to change oh i don't know you need to go though oh i've got custom colors should be should be selecting custom colors so we start with a break now that doesn't make any sense we start with a front break that is what we're supposed to do uh it's generic uk that's that's why we start with a i do not have the colors that i want do i yeah uh, i have them they're here starts with a front break and then a first class and then three third classes it's going to give us 30 capacity um four third classes 36 capacity how big is that 74 yards compared to this is 177 yards these are all going to be a lot 42 capacity as opposed to 56 what's happened here hmm there's clearly been something has happened something has clearly happened here and i'm not sure what 48 you know what? fine we'll, we'll lose a little bit excellent and those are those trains and as it goes as it is we now have uh, a complete a completely new setup a whole new set of trains pretty much almost every train was changed uh, so let's go ahead and try to find a a screenshot that took a, an hour i wasn't expecting to make a video for an hour but uh, there we go there you have it i guess How's this going to work? Are you going to make it? Or are you going to wait? You're going to make it. No, you're not. It was a different train. Never mind. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm trying to find a spot. There it is. Now that is going to be quite a picture. 35 mil, please. Very different trains, but it shows that we've got a brand new fleet. That is looking quite good. And that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports FIFA 2, the UK modded series. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think, any suggestions that you may have. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description box below. And also you can find me on social media at ETGadgets, LP for both Instagram and Twitter. Lastly, do go check out my Discord server. Link to that is also in the description box below. That is all from me. These trains may sit here forever. That was not a train. Uh, but there we go. And I shall see you next time in Transport Fever 2. Or yeah, either of these trains going to move. No. Transport Fever 2. The UK modded series.